Welcome, everyone. I'm here again, your pastor, your spiritual mom. And I'm so excited today because we're going to move in the power of the spirit that God creates inside of us. We are so blessed that we are sons and daughters of God. And every one of you, ooh, I'm so excited that the fire of God will move in your life today in the name of Jesus. So welcome everyone again. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Asia, Europe, US, wherever you are watching, the Spirit of the Lord is going to touch you this time and this hour. Amen. Praise God. So I'm so excited. We just uh, continuing our messages, our, our series on body, soul, and spirit. Say it again. Body, soul, and spirit. That God created us as a tripartite being. We have a body. Okay, look at the person next to you. You can see their body. You can see what they are made of. They are made of eyes, nose, lips, everything you can see. Their hands, their feet. That is our body. It's part of our creation. That's why we love our body. Amen. And we also have a soul. Soul is we cannot see. Walang makakita ng soul. It's inside our body. Nakalagay yan. Our body is our tent. Our soul is inside. So we can see through our soul. Amen. We can hear through our soul. We can touch. We, have, we can move. We can perceive in our soul. We can Feel in our soul, grave. Diyan ang mga feelings natin, emotions natin. So we're still inside our body. Now we are focusing on our spirit. Say it again. Spirit. Um, the, the deepest creation in us that God placed in our uh, body is our spirit. Amen. So say it again. You have a spirit. This is our second um, part two of the spirit. So sa Tagalog po ay Espiritu. So let me read the scripture and then we're going to pray together. Amen. So 1 Thessalonians 5.23 And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the whole spirit, man. Let's pray. Father, we exalt you, O God, Lord. We thank you that you are created us, O God, Lord, in your image and likeness, that our spirit can call to you, that our spirit is your spirit, O God, and we can worship you. We can worship you. We can glorify you through the spirit that you created inside of us. Spirit, spirit of the Lord, we are here to, oh God, to worship, to be one in the spirit with our Father, to be one with the spirit of our creator. Thank you for what you're going to uh, release, oh God, Lord, this time in this hour, God, because you know our spirit. You're the one who placed it there. And Lord God, you know our future. You know our tomorrow because the spirit can go, oh God, as far as our future, oh God. Thank you for that unlimited spirit. Thank you for that deep spirit. Thank you for that Aramo Sokola Labria. Awesome, big, and supernatural spirit that we have through you. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. Let the revelation of God come to us right now, oh God. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Come on, let's give a clap to the Lord right now. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So right now, dahil nga tayo lahat na nakikita natin sa paligid natin ay body lang natin 
Okay. You need to be sensitive. You have to know. Sabi nga, meron tayong all-knowing. We're gonna go deeper sa mga darating pa na weeks. Okay? So for now, we are still putting that foundation that God has placed in our lives. Kailangan alam na alam natin bago tayo pumasok dun sa ating uh, I know some of you are already teleporting, some of you are already ascending, but before for all of you who are just starting, kailangan alam natin kung ano yung meron na nilagay ng Lord sa atin because if we do not know, if we don't have foundation, pwede tayong malihis, magkamali, That's why you need a pastor to teach you, to train you in the realm of the spirit. Say it in the realm of the spirit because our father is a spirit. I will let you know. So I remember this morning, uh, nandun ako sa restroom. I heard the voice of the spirit and he's, he, he told me this. Nagulat din ako. You just don't know the spirit that you carry. You carry a powerful spirit of God. So lahat po tayo. Sabi po sa 1 Thessalonians 5.23 And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit. Say it. Your whole spirit. Your whole spirit. Hindi po um, durog-durog o hiwa-hiwala yung spirit natin. Buo yung spirit na nilagay sa atin ng Lord and we have the soul. So kailangan magkaroon ng unity yung spirit natin, yung soul. Yung spirito na nilagay ng Lord sa atin at yung kaluluwa natin, yung emotions natin, yung damdamin natin, yung isip natin, kung mag-isip tayo, dapat magka tugma, magkapareho. Hindi pwede hiwahiwalay, layo-layo. We need to have one soul and united with the Spirit of God. Amen? So, sabi dito, be preserved blameless. Sabi nga kaya hindi pa darating ang Lord kasi yung soul and spirit natin, uh, yung, yung ating soul, hindi pa nag, nag-unite, hindi pa nag-iisa doon sa spirit ng ng Lord. So, it needs to preserve blameless. Kailangan sabi nga, Jesus will come in a bride na no wrinkles, no blameless siya. Hindi, ma, hindi marumay, hindi magulo. Perfection is achieved. Ibig sabihin, nag-matured na yung ating soul and because our spirit comes from God, kailangan nagmamatured yung isip natin, damdamin natin, lahat-lahat para it will be preserved blameless when every child of God, in every sons and daughters of God, pagka blameless na, holy, we live in unity, we live in oneness, we don't live in sin, we live with holiness, we know that God is a spirit, so yung ating spirit, yung ating soul, kamukhang kamukha ng spirit ng Lord. Now sabi niya dito, the coming of the Lord is near. Amen? Kaya nga inaayos tayo ng Lord, binubuo niya tayo. Amen? So, And when Apostle Paul, I remember he when when he is inspired by the Holy Spirit. Alam nyo pag walang Holy Spirit, wala kang revelation. Dahil ang Word of God is not for you to become intelligent. The Word of God is for you to receive what the revelation of God. You have to know, kasi hindi hindi inaaral ang Dios. Hindi mo matututuhan ang Dios sa utak mo. Ah, kahit ang taas pa ng panagarala mo, I've known a lot, even scientists cannot explain God. Because you know why? Because God is a spirit. Amen? So, He needs to be perceived. Kailangan siyang maintindihan natin sa spirit natin. Amen? So, we call it spirit of man. Amen? Kasi sa tao, nilagay ang spirito ng Diyos. The spirit that lives inside of us sa kaloob-looban natin is the real us. Ano kayang klaseng spirit meron ka? Ano kayang klaseng spirit meron itong katabi mo ngayon? Your your neighbor, your your um the, the one sitting inside of you. Kasi natatandaan ko po um 
may, may, may mga kasama kami doon sa conference na talagang sigaw ng sigaw ng hallelujah, praise the Lord. Da, da, da. Ang lakas-lakas, ang ingay-ingay. Talagang glory, nakataas ang kamay. Kula na lang, pati pa, itaas eh. Talagang sigaw na sigaw. Few seconds later, na-reveal yung spirit nila. Alam ko ano yung spirit nila. Mga demon spirit pa lang nakatira sa kanila. Biglang na possess, eh sigaw ng sigaw ng praise the Lord. Hindi porki nagpe-praise the Lord ka, ay meron ng, uh, ang spirit mo, ay spirit ng Lord. Bakit? Kasi kung ang spirit mo, hindi ka pareho ng spirit ng Diyos, yung isip mo, yung soul mo, walang unity sa spirit mo, yung soul mo, yung isip mo, yung iniisip mo, is not of the thoughts of God. It's not the thoughts of the word of God. Anong mangyayari? Ah, hindi yun magiging spirit ng Diyos. Kaya madidiscern mo, malalaman mo kung anong spirit meron ka at anong spirit meron katabi mo. Kasi nag-unite, pareho ng galaw, pareho mag-isip ng pag-iisip ng Lord, ng damdami ng Diyos. Amen? The spirit of man, sabi nga dito, reveals that we were made in the image and likeness of God. Kailang alam ng bawat isa sa inyo kung anong klasing spirit ang nilagay ng Lord sa loob ng inyong buhay, sa loob ng inyong katawan sa Genesis 1.26. And God said, let us make man. So kausap niya si Jesus, kausap niya si Holy Spirit. Jesus the pre-incarnate Christ. Hindi yung si Jesus dito sa lupa noon. Hindi pa siya um, napapadala dito sa lupa. Hindi pa siya nakakapunta dito. He's already alive. He's a spirit. He's like God. So God said, let us make a man. Sabi niya, gumawa nga tayo ng tao kasi gumawa sila dati ng anghel. Pero look what happened to mga angels na to. Nag-rebelde. Naging, naging imbis na, naging napabuti. Nandun na sila sa presence ng Lord. They were the first creation. And yet, they become wicked. They become rebellious. They become, they become um, naging masasama sila. Kaya talagang sabi ng Lord, makapaggawa, gumawa ka ulit tayo ng bago. Gumawa nga ulit tayo at naisip nilang gawin ay ang gumawa ng tao. Pero this time, sabi niya, gawin ng kaya natin itong mga taong ito. Lagyan natin ng spirit. Sabi niya kay Jesus, pray in kind of Sabi niya, let's put my spirit in them. So, sabi niya ganyan, let us make men in our image after our likeness. Okay. So, hindi natin kamukha ang Diyos sa mukha. Okay? Hindi natin siya kamukha. Kamukha natin, kawangis natin ng Diyos sa spirit. Sa spirit. Yung image and likeness, meron tayong spirit na kamukha ng Diyos. Amen? And let them have tingnan mo ito. Kaya pala tinanong, sinabi sa akin ng Lord kanina, you just don't know the spirit that you are carrying. Hindi mo lang alam kung gano yung spirito na dinadala mo sa buhay mo is a powerful spirit because it is a spirit of God. But anyway, sabi niya dito yung spirit na inilagay niya sa atin yung spirito na nilagay niya sa atin sa ating buhay. Sabi niya let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the earth. Ibang klaseng spirit yan. Merong authority, merong power. Talagang dominion. Sabi niya itong spirit na nilagay sa atin ng Diyos ay spirito ng Diyos. At kinikiri niya dinadala ng spiritong ito na nakalagay sa buhay natin ang dominion and authority. What is that? Yung dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Lahat daw ng creatures na gumagalaw. Mula puno, hanggang hayo, pa mga spirito, at kung ano-ano pa man, kasama ng mga demonyo. Anong sabi ng Diyos? You have dominion. Yung spirit na nilagay niya sa atin, may dominion, may authority. Amen. We can speak to the air waves. We can speak to this creation. Kaya tinan niyo, naalala niyo yung sinasabi ko na kinakausap ko yung, yung mga 
uh, kalamansi doon and everything, biglang namumunga. I just tried it. Why sabi ko, Lord, ng malalaki, mga puno namin, yung mga puno namin sa bahay, naging hindi siya mukhang ordinaryong papaya. Asanga-sanga, lima-lima, anim-anim. I speak to that. Why? Because we have dominion over the face of the sea. We should not be afraid of demons because the Lord said, God gave us dominion. The spirit that we are carrying is so powerful that it should not fear anything that creeps, anything na lumalakad dito sa mundong ito. Wala tayong katatakutan. Sabi niya ganyan, every creeping thing, yung mga lumalakad, eh iba nga, ipis lang, takot pa. Sabi nga, lahat daw ng gumagapang, lahat daw ng hayop, lahat daw ng nilika ng Diyos, lahat ng mga isda sa dagat, lahat ng fossil air, wala tayong pwedeng katakutan kasi yung kinikiri nating spirit, yung nilagay ng Diyos na spirit sa atin ay spirito niya na napaka makapangyarihan. It has dominion, dominion over Amen. So sa Genesis 1.26, tatandaan nyo po na itong spirito na meron tayo, alam nyo the devil hates us to know that this word will be revealed to us kasi oras na natutuhan mo, oras na na-pick up mo, nakuha mo kung gano'ng kataas ang, ang authority na binigay sa'yo ng Diyos. Ah, wala ka talagang katatakutan and you will use that. There will come a time that every child of God will be so powerful but that when they walk on the planet earth, all demons will live, go back to the portal of hell in the name of Jesus. At lahat ng sakit at karamdaman ay pagagalingin ng Diyos. Amen? You have authority over sickness. Kaya nga sabi ng Lord, Um, we're gonna study this anyway, but you will cast out demons, you will heal the sick, amen? So praise God. So the term man, that's made man, okay, is the humanity, yung pagiging tao mo. So kaya ka naging tao, nilagyan ka ng spirito ng Diyos, amen? So, kasi pag hindi nyo alam na kayo ay may spirit, Puro na lang tayo utak, ah, matatalino, magagaling. Puro na lang tayo sa katawan, ah, pagagandahin ko ang katawan ko, ah, aayusin ko, ah, bibihisan ko, ah, lalagyan ko ng magagandang sasakyan, oh, all of this. But we forgot, kaya hindi balanse ang tao eh. Masyado silang aware, masyado tayong aware sa physical. We make ourselves so beautiful, so handsome, everything. We, we, kumbaga, yung iba nga nagbebenta pa ng kanilang mga kung ano-ano katawan para na mapaganda yung katawan nila. Mag, mag-aaral. I have nothing to, I have not, I am not again studying because we need knowledge. But you know what? Yung, 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 hindi pwedeng, Puro na lang katalino, naabot mo na lahat, natalino-talino ka na, you become, uh, memoryado mo na lahat. But what about your spirit? What are you doing with the spirit that God has placed inside of you? Because Jesus said that we are a spirit. God put spirit in Jesus when he was here on earth. After all, we will spend all eternity past with God. Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan na may spirito kayo. Yan ang makakasama natin. Madadala natin sa langit and we live eh, happen, uh, um, supernaturally, powerfully, um, whatever, lahat ng meron ng Lord until eternity. Kaya paghandaan niyo yung spirit niyo kasi ito magdadala sa inyo sa langit. Ito ang magiging eternal niyo, eternity. That makes him, you know what? God is a spirit. He makes him an authority on what God is. Kaya si Jesus, napaka-powerful. Although he lived only three and a half years dito sa lupa, napaka-powerful ng ministry niya. Napaka-powerful ng buhay niya. Bakit si Jesus supernatural? Bakit si Jesus kung lumakad, powerful? Bakit yung mga tao gumagaling, yung mga sakit, lumalayas, yung mga demonyo, umaalis? Bakit may mga miracles? Bakit lahat ng galaw ni Jesus may miracles? You know why? Because he had a revelation that he is a walking spirit here on earth 
earth and that he carry the spirit of the father the spirit of god kaya sabi niya i and god and my father are one i am only doing the things that i've seen my father does okay sinasabi yun ni jesus habang tao siya bakit yun ang nire-reveal sa kanya ng spirit ng dios inside of him amen so john 4:24 said god is a spirit say it again god is a spirit inuulit-ulit natin to para ma-pick up ng spirit nyo, hindi ng utak ninyo. When you go to church, people are so conscious of their body, so conscious of their mind, but they forgot that they are a spirit. Sabi nga ng Lord sa John 4.24, God is a spirit. Again, say it again. God is a spirit. Ang Diyos ay spirito. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit truth. Ano yung truth? Yung katotohanan na alam natin na may spirito tayo at inaabot natin ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating spirito. When we worship the Lord, alam mo, pag, pag nakakita ko mga tao na nag-worship, tapos nakataas ngayon ka, may alanganin ko, itataas, iba nga hindi na. Tapos parang kumakanta lang. You're not worshiping God when you're singing. You're worshiping God when your spirit commune. Nagsumasamba ka sa Diyos sa spirito. Kaya yung iba makikita mo, talagang wala nang pakialam eh. Uh, halos nakatira pa na whatever position, they don't really care because they're not conscious of their body. They're not conscious in their mind. They're conscious in their spirit that they are in the presence of God, that they are in a uh, heavenly, uh, that God, that the God that they were worshiping is a God of Elohim, is a God of eternity, is a God of 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 Shada is a God. Ang daming binigay na pangalan sa Diyos natin. Every time may revelation, halimbawa na bless ka, nag-provide ang Lord, you call him Jehovah Jireh, uh, the God that provides. Okay? You call him El Shaddai. He's more than enough in your life. So ang dami na dami yung spirit natin. Pag pinakawalan mo yan at sumamba sa Diyos, grabe yan. It touches the core of your being. Uh, and it touches God because we can only worship God in our spirit. Iba sa inyo, parang ayaw pa tumayo. Iba sa inyo, hindi pa maitaas ang kamay. Yung kamay nyo, pag tinataas nyo at yung bibig nyo, inaawit nyo, that is only your physical yung soul ninyo, iniisip, nag-worship, iniisip kung ano yung iluluto, anong kakainin, anong sales SM, kung kamula yung problema nila, yung boyfriend nila, girlfriend, asawa, kung ano-ano. No, God will never receive that kind of worship because God is is um uh, waiting for our spirit to commune, to worship with the spirit of God. It's gonna be deep. You have to know that God wants our worship. God wants our spirit. Because of what? Because His spirit has been placed inside of us. Amen? So God is a spirit. Lagi yung ilalagay yan. Lord, katulad mo ko, Father. My Father is a spirit. So I am also a spirit. Ah, hindi kayo makakapag-teleport, makakapag-ascension if you do not know that you are a spirit. Why? Kasi hindi makaangat yung katawan mo. Eh, yung katawan mo mabigat. So your spirit, laba, ramos, sekala, laba, a spirit without measure, sabi nga ng Lord. This means all human being are first and foremost made of spirit, not only of body. Ano yung body? Lalagyan ng spirit. Amen. Kaya on the inside of every living human body, merong tinatawag na human spirit. Amen. Kaya yan yung dinidiscern. Uh, when I pray for people, hindi ako masyadong ha, kahit gumiti ka pa sa harapan ko, ang mahalaga madiscern ko, what is the spirit inside of you? I will know the Holy Spirit will lead me. What are you thinking? What, where is the level of your realm of the spirit? Kaya kahit mag-speaking tang ka sa harapan ko, pag madidiscern ko na hindi sa spirito ng Diyos yan, Ah, I'm gonna. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Why? Because I'm sensitive. Because I know deep inside of me that I carry the spirit of God. Amen. So, 
Praise God. Ano mang ginagawa niyo doon sa spirit? Dapat araw-araw nagpi-pray kayo. Every uh, meron kayong fasting and prayer life, meron kayong worship life, meron kayong you 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 understood the word. That's why we study the word. Hindi tayo pa nang lilipad-lipad lang sa isang tabi. O oh, sige, we are led by the Spirit. Sige, maglutangan na tayong lahat. Hindi po ganun. You have to know, when God brought you to ascension, there is a purpose. Amen. Hindi lang yung basta ka lang lumutang dyan sa, lulutang-lutang ka dyan sa air. Hindi mo alam ang word ng Lord. Hindi mo alam ang ang foundation. Ano mangyayari? Mapupuntaan mo ang spirito ng mga demons. Lapain ka doon. Oh, so you you need the word. You need the word because the word is Jesus. Amen. If you carry the word in your heart, if you carry the word in your mind, you will know it. You will discern it. Kasi yan ang nag-divide between soul and spirit. The word of the Lord. Amen. That's why we still study the word of God. Hindi ko sinabi ko. Sige, lahat kayo tumayo. Maglutang tayo ngayon. Ha, ha, ha. Bako saan sa kay lumutang, di na kay bumalik. So, uh, remember always, when God brought you somewhere in ascension, God has a purpose. Amen? Either He's gonna speak to you, you will know a revelation of Him in the realm of the Spirit. Amen? So, Job, kaya yung mga nanonood sa uh, YouTube, nanonood, I just want to remind you that all of you needs a pastor. You need to ask questions because pag nanood kayo, matindi na yun nga. Because yung mga man of God, they carry a very strong spirit and they've been in the ministry for many years and they have experience. Kaya pag nirelease nila dyan at ginaya-gaya ninyo, hallelujah! That's why you need a pastor to tell you and lead you. That's why you need a shepherd to lead the sheep, especially in the realm of the spirit. Amen? Para alam niyo, para pag nag-ascend kayo, wow, ang ascension ko ay pure. Ang ascension, ang na-reach ko ay ang, um, uh, uh, ang talagang presensya ng Diyos. Amen ba? So, uh, so the real person, sino talaga yung, sino talaga tayo yung spirit natin. Amen? Hindi yung mukha natin. Ay, ang ganda-ganda niya, oh. Oy, ang gwapo-gwapo niya. Tingnan kaya natin ang spirito niyan. Baka ang spirito niya, kung ano-anong iniisip sa, kung ang dumi-dumi pala ng, 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 ng soul niya, ang dumi-dumi pala ng spirit niya, ah, tayo sobra lang tingin natin lagi in the physical. So, like, I always tell uh, the, the single people, bago kayo mamangha, sa kagwapuhan at kagandahan, alamin niyo muna kung anong merong spirit ang taong yan. Baka meron yung spirit of lust, baka meron yung spirit of a demonic inside of him. Ah, hindi ka mamahalin yan. Ah, pag, ah, ah, Rebeke, sola maharaya ba, sonda. So, even when you go to church, you need to discern the spirit of the preacher. Ang dami na po kasi preacher ngayon na ah, kung ano-ano nang tinuturo, naliligaw na yung mga tao, kung ano-ano na, kung ano-anong klaseng ah, because, you know why, hindi matalino ang mga tupa. Sheep should know and discern what kind of spirit a person holds. Amen? What kind of a preacher they're watching. Kaya, ang dami-dami po natin nakikita dyan. Pero tingnan nyo kaya, the fruit will speak of itself. Yung ba pinanonood yung anong bunga meron dyan, kilala nyo ba yan? So close. Amen ba? So again, well, let's move again. We are created in the image of God. So tingnan nyo nga yung katabi nyo. Sino talaga sila? Ano sila made of? You have to know what's inside of them. You have to know what's inside of you. Amen? Hindi ba pwede nag-worship kayo, nakataas ang kamay nyo, kung saan saan kayo, kung saan saan kayo, nagpipray kayo, kung saan, kung ano-ano na iisip nyo. That's uh, a spirit that you are made of. Sa, diba? Pag nag-deliverance tayo, napakaraming spirit. How's it the Holy Spirit? Isa lang. Holy Spirit, come. Pero pag nagpakakas out tayo, dami-daming pinalalay sa Espiritu. Espiritu ng anger, Espiritu ng ganito. Napakaraming Espiritu. Why? Because 
there's only one spirit that God has given us. It's the spirit of God that was we created in the image and likeness of God. Amen. So Job 32 verse 8. But there is a spirit in men. In men. Sa loob ng tao. I want you to look at the neighbor uh, beside you. Sabi ito, there's a spirit inside of them. May spirit yan. Alam mo ba kung anong spirit yan? Okay. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I know what spirit you have. <laughs> Praise God. Because this inspiration of knowing that we are made of the spirit of God, He gave us, the Almighty have gave us understanding. Mauunawaan nyo. Itong tinuturo ko sa inyo, maiintindihan nyo lang ito pagbukas ang spirito nyo. Amen? So I want everyone to focus. Your spirit should be open. Do not understand it, this by your mind. Hindi po ito para sa matatalino. Ito pong tinuturo ko ay para sa bukas ang spirito. I just want to tell you na hindi pwedeng pumasok sa spirito nyo ang spirito ng demonyo dahil ang spirito na meron sa inyo is the spirit of God. We are made in the image and likeness of God. So the devil cannot possess our spirit because our spirit is a spirit that comes from God. He's our father. He's our creator. He's everything in us. Amen? Eh, pastora, sino ba yung, paano pa pumapasok yung mga demonyo sa mga tao? Eh, alam mo kung saan, not in your spirit but in your mind. Amen? Kung ano yung naiisip mo, nagiging ganun ka. If you always think of your past, you will never go to your future because your your thoughts is from the past. Para kang back to the future. Laging binabalik ka ng nakaraan. <laughs> Amen. You cannot the spirit of God is futuristic. Amen. Sabi niya all things are passed away. Behold, all things becomes new. So Romans 8:9 it says here, but you are not living in the light of the flesh. Amen. Hindi daw tayo pwedeng mga anak ng Diyos. Hindi tayo pwedeng namumuhay sa flesh o dito lang sa ating panglabas, pangkatawan. You are living in the life of the Spirit. Say it again. You are living in the life of the Spirit. Buhay ang Spirito ng Diyos sa ating buhay. You are living. Dapat ito yung pinamumuhay natin araw-araw. Alam mo, ang daming, ang daming sistema dito sa mundo. Ang dami nilang pinaniniwalaan. Kasi itong mundo to belongs to the to Satan. Siya nagpapatakbo nito lahat ng sistema dito, worldly. Yung mga, yung pananaw nila sa buhay. Yung pananaw nila lahat-lahat. But we have a spirit. Our spirit comes from God. That's why when we think, we should be thinking how God thinks. Amen? So, really dwells with you, direct and controls you. We need to be controlled by the Holy Spirit. We need to be directed and led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. So, naalala ko po kahapon before kasi I came from San Diego and fellowship with my brother, yung tunay ko pong brother, yung panganay namin at saka yung sister-in-law ko at saka yung mga pamangkin ko. So, we we came, I came from Pastor and I came from San Diego. So, we prayed together uh, bago kami lumabas ng bahay. At naisipan nung nung sister-in-law ko na si Rubina, daanan kaya natin yung anak, yung yung bahay. Gusto yung pakita sa akin yung bagong bahay ng, ng pamangkin ko. So, nagmamadali kami because there's there's a lot of traffic after mga 1 o'clock. So, we need to go back. Ang layo kasi nun. Ang layo-layo. We need to go back to Los Angeles. So, alam nyo ba? Sabi ko, sige, punta tayo. Tingnan natin. Just to see the house. But because we are led by the Spirit, in na dumiretso kami agad sa LA, we went 15 minutes away. Okay? Nagkaligaw-ligaw pa kami. But anyway, pagdating namin doon, bukas pala yung bahay ng pamangkin ko. Bago yung bahay niya, kabibili lang niya, kalilipat lang niya. She went somewhere na na, na masyal sila. Yung bahay niya bukas. <laughs> what if we are not led by the Holy Spirit? 
what if we did not hear the Holy Spirit at hindi kami dumaan doon, e di lahat ng laman, pagpasok mo pa naman, andun lahat ng computer, lahat ng lahat, lahat ng mga gamit niya, sa office niya nandoon. So, ubos na yung bahay pa kung ano nang ginawa doon. So, see that? You are led by the Holy Spirit. Ano yun? Uh, sasabihin sa'yo ng Lord kung saan ka pupunta, anong gagawin mo sa araw na ito, da, 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 da. you need to be led by the Holy Spirit. Paano mo ka malilid kung hindi ka sanay na yung spirit mo ay galing sa spirit ng Diyos? Ang magliled sa iyo, spirito ng demonyo. Kaya ang damang kabataan na led by the spirit of the enemy kung saan-saan, kung ano-anong napapasok. That's why they, there must be a life of the spirit. What is the life of the spirit? Yung nagbigay ng buhay sa atin. The spirit of God that will dwells in us once na na, 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 na tumira na yan sa atin. Yan ang magde-direct sa atin. Like control, pero maayos na control. Yung nilalagay niya tayo sa tamang kalalagyan natin. You will know the will of God. Alam mo kung anong kalooban ng Diyos sa iyo, sa future mo, sa buhay mo. Malalaman mo kung sinong mapapangasawa mo. Malalaman mo kung kung, kung anong gagawin mo, anong kukunin mong kurso, anong gagawin mo, anong ituturo mo, lahat-lahat. Why? Because you are led by the Spirit of God. The moment there's a question, your, your action is the peace of God. The moment there's a peace of the Spirit inside of you, the moment there's joy inside of you, the moment there's love inside of you, all of these things, that's the Holy Spirit, you will know that God controls you, that the Spirit of the Lord is inside of you. Amen ba? Praise God. So, but if anyone does not possess the Holy Spirit of Christ, sige, tuloy-tuloy tayo. But if anyone, so hindi pa na lahat na po possess ni Holy Spirit. But if anyone does not, does not possess the Holy Spirit, hindi, hindi niya, awalang ah, Holy Spirit sa buhay niya, He is none of His. If the Holy Spirit doesn't live inside of you, you are not His. Hindi ka niya anak. Hindi ka niya kilala. He does not belong to Christ. Sabi nito, you don't belong to Jesus Christ. You are not truly a child of God. Amen? So paano mo malalaman na ito talagang anak ka ng Diyos? You are being led. You have the life of the Spirit inside of you. The Holy Spirit dwells inside of you according to Romans chapter 8 verse 9. Amen? So lahat ng anak ng Diyos, ano? Lahat ng totoo. Okay, say this. Totoo, truly a child of God. They have the living Holy Spirit inside of them. Ha? Amen. They possess, they're being possessed by the Holy Spirit. Ang sarap naman, binigyan tayo ng body, yung katawan natin. Dapat nandoon ang Spirito ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Hindi kung anong-anong Spirit. Sabi ko nga dapat, isa lang Spirito natin. Wala na kung ano-ano pang Spirito. Pag may iba-iba pang Spirito dyan, palayasin nyo na yan. Hindi na yan sa Diyos. Kasi isa lang dapat, isa lang dapat ang nakatira sa buhay natin. And that is the life of the Holy Spirit. Say it again, Holy Spirit. Spirit of God, amen. The human spirit of God. Dagdug, dagdug tonga natin. Okay, we are inspired. In inspired si Paul, no at at I mean ni si ni Joe si Job when 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 God reveals to him about the spirit. Tinuruan ng Joe si Job. Tinuruan ng Joe si Paul. Tinuruan ng Joe ah. Uh, si Jesus also understood that he had a spirit. There is a spirit being on the inside of every living human body. Amen? It's a real person. Yung totoong tao, yung nandudun sa loob natin. The one that is created after the image and likeness of God. That's why you have to know God because if you do not know God, you will never know. You will never understand. You will wrap the, 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 there's no revelation. Uh, hindi, hindi. Ano ba yung revelation? Uh, pinapakita sa iyo ang totoo? Uh, um pinapahiyag sa iyo pinapahiyag sa iyo ang totoo amen uh, we are in the image and likeness of god kawangis mo ang diyos hindi ka diyos pero kung mag-isip ka gumalaw ka magramdam ka uh, mag-declare ka i mean 
is so powerful. Your life is powerful because God is powerful. If you know that God is a powerful, you live a powerful God. L life. Amen? Praise God. It is through the spirit of man that God communicates with him or her. Kailangan bukas ang spirit mo. Alam, marami ako narinig. Ba't ko narinig ang tinig ng Diyos? Alam niyo ba, araw-araw, oras-oras, minimum niyo ito, nagsasalita ang Diyos sa atin sa pamamagitan ng espiritu niya. Amen? Para lang yan sa, ah, ah, tawag dito, sa radyo, ay yung iniikot, may frequency yan eh. Ah, oh, 24 hours nagsasalita yung istasyon na yan. Pero kapag pinatay mo, hindi mo maririnig kung ano sinasabi ng station ng radio na yan. Why? Because you are not in tune. That's what I'm, say I'm saying. Na if you are not in tune, if our spirit is not in tune with the spirit of God, we will never know the will of God in our life. Amen? Because we cannot hear from God. Kasi tingnan mo ang Diyos nagsasalita dyan, basta buksan mo ang spirito mo. Sana ako kinausap ng Diyos dito sa title ng message na to. When I was in the restroom this morning, sabi niya, you just don't know the spirit that you carry is it's a powerful spirit that lives inside you. Sabi ko, what? Ito ituturo ko, ito ituturo ko. See, he speaks to me. Where? Do sa CR. Dahil bukas ang spirito ko. Amen? So do not close your spirit to God. Allow God to commune with you through your spirit. Siya naglagay ng spirito na yan. Hindi lang yan dyan para matulog. <laughs> because God wants to tell us sa sabihin sa atin ng Diyos huwag kang pupunta doon o pupunta ka rito huwag ka huwag mong gawin yan o ito ang gawin mo you know that's that's God guides us through His Spirit amen He communicates sabi mo po nagsasalita don't expect God to talk to you hello Pedro no 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 God will never speak an audible voice unless you are Moses <laughs> amen He communicates through your spirit. Say it through your spirit. Not to your mind, but your spirit. Not to your mind. Kaya pag inintindi mo ang Diyos sa utak mo, mababaliw ka. Because it's so easy, madali lang. Pag uh, hindi mahirap, hindi nakaka-pressure, hindi nakaka-stress ang spirit ng Lord. Amen? Uh, God does not communicate with humans through their soul. Ah, hindi po sa sa damdamin nyo. Kasi sabi nga ng Lord, your your emotions are very, sabi nga niya, pabago-bago. Amen. Minsan masaya ka, minsan malungkot ka, minsan ganito ka, minsan ganito ka. No, he, God never speak to the soul. He speaks to the spirit. Kasi spirit niya yan eh. May karapatan siya magsalita diyan eh. Sabi niya, "Teka, nilagay ko nga 'yung spirit ko diyan sa iyo eh para kausapin ka." You know, dog subs no spirit ito. Meron ako Meron akong patabi rito si Angel na aso namin. So, yan, tuturuan mo pa. Sasabihin pa, kam, tsaka lang siya lalapit. O kaya, kung uh, nakakita ka ba ng aso na, andyan, maraming aso sa atin, lumabas sa kalsada, tapos nag, na, nakipag, um, nakipagtalik siya sa iba ibang klaseng aso. Tapos umuwi siya sa bahay. Nakakita ba kayo ng aso na lumuhod? Humingi ng tawad, Panginoon, patawarin mo po ako dahil nag-adultery ako, nag-fornication ako. Di ba wala? Because they don't have a spirit. Ah? But they can feel dahil meron silang soul. Meron silang mga desires. Meron silang gustong kainin because they have mind. They can feel. Ah? Ano bang klaseng utak meron kayo? Utak aso? Ha? Ah? You don't know where God is, where God wants to to take you. That's why our spirit needs to be open. We are not only in the soulless realm; we are in the realm of the spirit. We can correct the spirit of God that is inside of us. Can correct our soul. Can rebuke our body. Amen. Because the spirit of God inside of us, yan ang may dala ng tama, yan ang truth. Siya yung nagdadala ng word from the Lord. Siya yung nagdadala ng whatever the desires and the will of God in our life. This spirit is made in heaven. This is the spirit of God. Contact ito, itong contact ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Communicate. Kaya kahit tulog ka, yung spirit mo nagko-communicate sa Diyos. Hindi siya natutulog. Kaya pag gusto ng Diyos na mangusap sa atin, warningan tayo, bigyan tayo ng, 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 ng tawag dito, ng, ng,
uh, bigyan niya tayo ng prophecy sa future natin o bigyan niya tayo ng, ng dreams, bigyan niya tayo ng vision, He communicates in our spirit. Pero pag sa utak mo nilagayan, ah, makita mo kung ano-ano ng laman ng utak mo. Kung ano-ano na yan. So God is a spirit. Say it again. God is a spirit and He lives in the spiritual realm. Okay. Hindi mo na Diyos dito. Napaluta. He live in the realm of the spirit sa dimension. Doon siya sa spirit kasi wala siyang katawan. God is no body. He has He's a spirit. Pag nakita mo, pag wino-worship siya, hindi waliwa na galos. Hindi mo, hindi mo makikita na figure ang Diyos. Why? Because He is a spirit. Say it. He's a spirit. He is a spirit. Kaya when you worship the Lord, you worship Worship God in spirit and truth. Hindi po siya pwedeng lagyan ng kahoy, lagyan ng semento, lagyan ng kung ano ang figura. Because God is a spirit. He cannot live inside a thing or inside a, a, a tawag dito, sa, sa uh, maliit mong tawag dito, aparador. Doon pa siya ilalagay. Ibang spi, ibang Diyos siya nasa aparador mo. Because God is a spirit. Hindi mo ikakasya sa aparador yan. <laughs> Amen. He lives in the realm. Bakit sinabi yung lives in the realm? Kanya yan, kanya yung realm. Yung satanas, yung, yung mga galaxies, yung mga ano yan. nag nag ano yan, nag, nag, nag create. So he can go, he, he's in the realm of heavens. He's in the realm of all of all this planet. He can speak, he can move, he can, ah, grabe. Kaya pag, pag kinilala mo ang Father, He's a powerful God. He's an almighty God. He is an infinite God. Di wala siyang katapusan. Kaya nga tawag sa Kanya is the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Mega. Hindi mo alam kung saan siya nagmula at hindi mo rin alam kung kailan siya matatapos. Wala siyang katapusan. There's no beginning on it. Because God is a spirit. Amen. That's why He communicates through humans by the the human spirit. Amen. Nakikipag-ugnayan, nakikipag-fellowship, nakikipag-usap. If you will not pray, your spirit will not be open to receive from Him, to worship Him. Amen. It is the spirit of man that is born again. So saan ang born again sa buhay natin? It's not our body. It's not our mind. It's not our emotions. It's not our soul. It is our spirit. Yun ang binago. Yun ang pinanganak na muli. Kaya nga salabi, pinanganak mo muli dahil pinalitan niya yung spirit natin. Yung spirit man, yung spirit natin na laging sunod na sunod sa demonyo at kay satanas, pinalitan niya, binor na ganyan, bino, binigyan niya ng bagong buhay, pinanganak niya, pero hindi isa siya ng nanay mo, wala siyang dugo, wala siyang kles, isa spirit, kaya nga born again tayo sa spirit, ano yung spirit na meron tayo, is Christ, become our savior, not our body, kaya nga kailangan sabi ng Lord, renew your mind daily, babaguhin mo talaga ang utak mo, kasi ang naborn again sa'yo, ang bago mong, ang bagong spirit mo, yung spirit mo, ang bago sa'yo, okay, you become a new creation, wow, amen, the Bible speaks, yun ang nangyari sa human spirit mo, yung, yung dating spirito ng patao ay nabago, kaya tinawag kang new creation. Not your soul again. Kaya paglabas mo, halimbawa tumanggap ka sa Lord dyan sa altar. Lord, patawarin mo po ako, tinatanggap kita Jesus bilang Panginoon, tagapagligtas. Tanggapin mo po ako, Lord, isulat mo ang pangalan ko, aklat ng buhay. Praise God! Because of that, in acknowledge the Father because it's only Jesus who, 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 who is the way, the truth, and the light. So, Ah, naborn again niya yung spirit mo. Bago kayo ng spirit mo. Amen. So you become a new creation. Naging anak ka ng Diyos. Alin ang naging anak niya sa'yo? Yung spirit mo. Amen. Praise God. So 2 Corinthians 5.17. So araw-araw, say it. Araw-araw, you have to renew your mind. Ay, new creation na pala ako. Ay, binago na pala ako ng Lord. Hindi na pala ako katulad ng dati. Na ganito-ganito. Ah, na nagkakasala ako. Kaya babaguhin mo na yung buhay mo. Hindi ka na magpapatuloy sa pagkakasala. Kasi bago na yung spirit mo. is the spirit of God that has been renewed, that is born again. Amen! Palakpakan natin ang Lord. Praise God! 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any person is ingrafted 
engrafted in Christ. Ano yung engrafted? Ah, pinag-isa. Amen. The Messiah, Jesus Christ. He is now a new creation. So, pinag-isa tayo. Pastora, paano tayo pinag-isa? Huwag mong isipin kung paano. Sing utak mo kasi. Your ways are not our ways. Thoughts are not our thoughts. God is higher. Amen. Huwag mong explain sa utak mo. Sabi dito, because everything that I'm talking to you is more of the Spirit. Amen. Yung spirit ni Jesus, yung spirit ni Lord ay nasa spirito na tayo. Kaya we are now a new creature. Amen. All, all, yung moral and spiritual condition, yung mga kasalanan natin, yung mga dati nating mga mga uh, crazy na sa buhay, yung mga emosyon natin na mali, lahat-lahat yung mga utak natin mali. Sabi dito, has passed away. Tapos na, bagong creation ka na. Behold, the fresh and new has come. Amen ba? Behold, the fresh and new has come. Amen? Bago ka na. Dapat alam mo yan. Alin ka bago again? Yung spirit mo. Ang pastor, yung utak ko parang hindi pa bago. Kaya nga iririnyo mo araw-araw. Babaguhin mo. Kung ano yung sinabi ng Diyos? Kaya kailangan mo. You need the word of God. Pag, amen? Para matindihan mo. Ay, nakalagay pala dito, sinabi pala ng Diyos na dapat na isipin ko na bago na ako. Hindi na ako pwedeng mamuhay ng katulad ng buhay ko dati. Amen? So, what Paul meant here is that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Amen? Ano lang yung, sa, sa, paano ka lang makakapasok sa karya ng Diyos? Hindi sa pamamagitan nitong katawan mo na to. Pagdating ng araw, babalik ito sa alabok. Say, sa 1 Corinthians 15.50 says, But I tell you this, brethren, flesh and blood cannot partake of eternal salvation and inherit or share in the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit or share in the imperishable, the immortal. When a human being is born again, they become brand new, again, not in their body. So, ano yun? Um, so, Praise God. Itong katawan natin, mapupunta ito sa alabok, pero yung spirit natin, yun ang haharap sa Diyos. Yun ang pupunta sa Diyos. Kaya mahalaga kung anong ginagawa mo sa realm of the spirit, kung anong ginagawa mo sa spiritual life mo. Oh, mahalaga. Don't take for granted yung paglilingkod mo sa Diyos. Eh kasi ganito lang naman ginagawa ko. Everything that you do for God, will be judged in the coming days. Paano ba yung i-judge? Bibigyan ng reward yan. Amen. Praise God. So, um, everything that you do, you are being led by the Spirit of God is of God. So, sabi nga dito, yung, yung tao, pag namatay, either pupunta sa langit or sa impyerno. Amen ba? Kasi na-expire din. Ba iba, makita mo pa, Kailan na yun? Yung daddy ko nga nalaman ko na matay pala ng 90 years old. So nag-expired yung katawan niya. Kahit anong gawin niya doon sa katawan niya, ayaw na tumanggap ng pagkain, ayaw na tumanggap ng tubig, ayaw na tumanggap ng nourishment kasi expired na. <laughs> Dahil hindi niya na-renew yung mind niya. <laughs> Amen? Me, I renewed my mind that I will not die, I will not test death until the coming of the Lord. Amen? So immortal. That's the way I think. Because Jesus, hindi natalo niya yung death. Hindi kayang i-hold ang katawan ni Jesus, ang spirit ni Jesus ng katawan niya. Jesus was resurrected from death to life and went to heaven. Amen? Praise God. Kaya itong, itong katawan natin, hindi kayang i-hold ito. I-hold nito ang spirit natin. Lalabas talaga yung spirit natin. Babalik talaga yan. Mag-a-ascend talaga yan. Mag-teleport yan kay Jesus and our God. Amen? So, ano bang nangyayari doon sa mga taong namamatay? Sa 2 Corinthians 5.8, the Bible says, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen? So, ano, ang body natin, mananatili dito, or babalik pala sa alabok, wala, magiging ano na lang yan, abo, pati na araw. Kaya kita mo sinusunog, nilalagay doon sa parang banga, <laughs> tapos ibibigay sa'yo. Cremation, ayan na ang minamahal mo sa buhay, abo na lang. Pero buhay yung tao doon, ano yung buhay niya? Yung spirit niya. Saan ang spirit niya? Kung sa hell o sa heaven. 
Amen. So saan kaya pupunta? A spirit mo, yun ang paghandaan mo. Yun ang lagyan mo ng panahon. Lagyan mo ng, ng buong, sabi nga, that's why the Lord said, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Love the Lord with all, with all. Huwag mo hati-hatiin. Why? Because someday you will you will come face to face with God. Haharap ako sa Diyos. Ano yung haharap sa Kanya? Your spirit mo. Amen? Praise God. So to depart with Christ, Philippians 1.23, is to be with Christ is far better. Kailangan hangga sa dumating ang araw, haharap tayo yung spirit natin kaharap ng Diyos. Amen? So, therefore, hallelujah, Are you understanding what I'm saying? Naiintindihan niyo po ba? Okay, hindi nang utak niyo. Ano? Na spirit niyo. Dapat pag na lang, when I speak about the word of God, your spirit is being nourished. Your spirit is becoming stronger. Amen. Kaya naggo-grow ka, nagma ka kasi yung spirit mo napapakain. Pinapakain ko yung spirit to niyo ngayon. Amen. So Ephesians 3:20 Now to him who ka Excuse me, inom lang muna ako. In consequence of the action of His power that is work within us, is able to carry out His purpose and do super abundantly far over and above all that we dare us think. So, tingnan nyo po to sa Ephesians 3.20. Grabe ang nilagay na spirit sa atin ng Diyos. There must be an action, activities in our life that is powerful. He's working within us. Pag nag-work ang spirit sa loob mo, magkakaroon ng actual manifestation of the working of God. There's gonna be power that will be released in your life. Amen? That you will be able to carry out His purpose. Huwag kayong matakot. All of you leaders out there, lahat ng humahawak ng light group, lahat ng nanalangin sa may sakit, I, you know what? Ministry is not hard. Serving the Lord is not hard. Sinasabi mo lang ng utak mo mahirap kasi utak mo ang pinagagana mo. You need to serve the Lord by your spirit. Amen? At ang manifestation na yung ginagawa mo siya ng masaya ka, ginagawa mo siya ng at peace ka, ginagawa mo siya na alam mo na may power ang Diyos para ma-accomplish mo yung pinagagawa niya sa'yo. Amen? And, um, and above all that we there ask or think, beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. Amen? pakataas niya, ibig sabihin yung mga prayers niyo, kaya niya yan. Nothing is impossible to God. Every desire, every prayer that you pray, meron ng solusyon yan. Yung power ng Lord, i-release yan solusyon yan. Yung mga desires niyo, yung mga thoughts, iniisip, hopes or dreams that is in line with God, God can accomplish that. Pero alam mo, Natutuhan ko ka mo na sinabi ng Lord na when we pray for people, don't ask the Lord, Lord, uh, Panginoon, pagalangin mo naman siya. ano sabi ng Diyos? Binigay ko na sa iyo lahat ng power, lahat ng authority. Pag hindi mo alam sa utak mo yan, walang mangyayari sa iyo. Uh, sa spirito mo. But if you know that revelation, ang bilis mo, that nothing is about, pray ka agad. Mm, this person will be healed. Amen? So, where are we now? Earth, Praise God. Kailang abab tayo in the principalities of the air. We're bombarding heaven. This. Amen. Praise God. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's look at Romans 1.20. For ever since Romans 1 verse 20. 20. For ever since the creation of the world is invisible nature in attributes. Gabi no? Alam mo itong creation ng Diyos, napakalawa. Marami ditong creatures. Marami create ang Lord. May sa langit, may sa lupa, may sa dagat. Hindi lang nga natin nadidiscovery. Ha? Kasi nga, limitado tayo sa utak natin. Pero alam mo, kaya ang sarap mo yung nagte-teleport ka, nag a ka. Kasi maraming ram kang naaabot. Yung spirit mo, ah, ganito pala dito, galito pala. Marami akong rams na napupuntahan na pinapakita sa akin ng Diyos, nagdami pala niyang krinit, na hindi pala na, 
tayo dapat matakot. His eternal power and divinity. Ano sabi? Eternal power. Nakakapangyarihan ng ating Ama. Amen. Ang ating tatay, the one who created that is so powerful, is divine. Ang, pa, ang, 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 ang attributes, ang, ang title niya is divine. Divine God, divinity. Pag sinabing divine, Diyos yun. Pag sinabing Diyos, walang hanggang katapusan, walang hanggang makapangyarihan. He have been made intelligible and clearly discernible and through the things that have been made, His handiworks. Sabi niya, sino yung handiworks niya? Tayo. Tayo yung vessel. Tayo yung sisidlan. Tayo yung host ni Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Kaya pag hino-host mo o sisidlan ka ng Spirit ng Diyos, wow, you're powerful, man. Or women are without excuse. Wala daw tayo dapat na i-excuse or i-depensa or justify. Sabi dito, huwag natin, ay, eh, Diyos kasi yan, eh, kaya ganyan siya. Ah, kasi one time, meron akong kinausap, and I gave Jesus as an example. Sabi ko si Jesus, grabe, pinagaling ito. Pinag Alam mo, sinagot sa akin, eh, kasi si Jesus yan, hindi naman ako si Jesus eh. So look at the person. He has no revelation that he carries the spirit of Jesus. He has no revelation that he carries the spirit of the Father who created heaven and earth. Kaya nung mangyari, nagja-justify siya, nagdidepensa siya. Amen. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ah, dinidepensa na, itawo lang ako, hindi naman ako. Ah, alam mo yung may spirit na ganyan, walang revelation. Yung may, yung may mga ganyang mga sagot, ang limitado mga utak niyan. Kaya ako kahit anong talino ng kausap ko, kahit judge pa siya, kahit kataas-taasan pa siya, nakahukuman, pinakamatalino sa mga, hindi ako lumiliit sa harapan niya. Hindi ako natatakot. Hindi ako because I am all-knowing. I have the Spirit of the Father. If I say, Lord, reveal to me, and God's gonna reveal to me. Amen? Sabi nga, you know everything. Amen? Kasi you have the Spirit of God. Huh? Amen ba? That's why the nine gifts can function on you. Hindi lang nga siya magpapunction. Residence na siya sa'yo. Because the Spirit lives inside of you. Amen? <laughs> so Hebrew 9.23 <laughs> By such Hebrews 9.23 By such means therefore it was necessary for the earthly copies of of the heavenly things to be purified. But the actual heavenly things themselves require far better and nobler sacrifice than this. Ibig sabihin, kung anong meron sa langit, replica itong lupa ng sa langit, magkamuka. Kaya lang better lang doon. Meron din doon puno, meron din lahat-lahat doon. So, praise God. Ang maganda lang sa langit, walang curse doon sa Revelations 22 verse 3. Dito, ang dami-daming problema. Kaya you know what, paghandaan nyo yung future nyo, yung spiritual life nyo. Amen? Don't just focus na, ah, tatagal pa ako dito, yung ganito, ganito, ganito. Hindi ka pwedeng mamuhay dito forever and ever. <laughs> There will really come a time that God's gonna release your spirit with it. Amen ba? So praise God. So sabi dito, it's time to take authority over your thought life. Diba tinuro ako kayo sa, sa soul? Hindi pa pwede yung soul nyo ang nangingibabaw sa spirit nyo. Hindi kayo pwede mag according to your soul. It has to be the spirit. The spirit is the highest in that lives inside our body. Why? Because it's the spirit of God. If you want to know the will of the Father, kailangan yung spirit, yung utusan niyo, yung utak niyo, yung emotions niyo. Ay, uh, naiwanan ka na ng boyfriend mo, girlfriend mo, yak yak ka ah, If you got the spirit of God, you don't cry on those things. Dapat steady ka. Sabi mo, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that's not your will. I'm, go I'm gonna get rid of that in my life. Amen ba? Hindi ka natatakot. God has given us a spirit not the spirit of fear. God has never given us. We never carry. Every one of you watching out there, we never carry a spirit of fear. Dapat wala tayong kinakatakutan in every area of our lives, even in our finances, even in our, um. you know what, when I declare na 
ang budget ang 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 itatayo natin building is worth 50 million hindi ako nalula hindi ako natakot sa natin kukunin yon because i know when god spoke to me that it already existed in the spirit there's already 50 million that is in the spirit at magma-manifest lang yan by the faith kukunin niyo yan sa Niyo, your spirit will in will be um, um kailangan mag mag cooperate kailangan magkaisa sa spirito ng Diyos wala yung ay nako laki laki naman wala nga akong pambili ng toothbrush ko 50 million pa so you can limit god kaya ka wala kang pambili dahil nililimitahan mo ang Diyos amen kung hindi mo nililimitahan ang Diyos baka ikaw na may ari ng factory ng toothbrush <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So for now, I want you to, the spirit, you are spirit-filled. Yung spirit na inilagay sa inyo, I want you to release that. Next week, I will start the, the series of how to walk in the power of the supernatural God. Amen. Para lahat kayo ay gamitin ng Diyos powerfully. Well, ano mo? Kasi kung hindi ko ito ituturo sa inyo, hanggang palakpak na lang tayo sa simbahan, taas ang kamay, ang buhay kristyano, masayang tunay, epe, yan ang alam nito yan. Kaya ang simbahan naging simbahan ng kwentuhan, fellowship, kainan, dahil ito power. Pinalitan natin ang power ng Diyos na mga bagay. Doon, ah, tugtugan, ano tayo doon, concert dito, concert doon, invite dito, invite doon. Bakit? Kasi hindi kumikilo sa Diyos. But when we allow the Spirit of God inside of us to be released, ah, makita nyo, lahat kayo gagamitin ng Diyos. Kulang. That's why we have to we have to move in uh, that building. Di ba plano natin more than 10,000? Amen ba? Why? Pupunoy niya ng mga tao na lahat na nangangailangan. The Lord will just heal them, touch them, bless them, everything. Why? Because we carry the power of God. We carry the Spirit of God. Every one of us. Hindi sinabi dito si Pastor May. Title lang nun. Ha? Nanilagay sa tao. Ay, si ganito, ganyan. No! It's the Spirit of man that carries. May Spirito ba kayo ng Diyos sa buhay nyo? Every one of you, raise your hands. You have the Spirit of God that lives inside of you. Yan na pagpukunod sa inyo sa power ng Diyos. There will come a time God will release His supernatural power inside of you. That's why I'm giving you the foundation that sabay-sabay tayo. All of us will come a time that we know, everyone know the language we're talking about. Pag sinabi ko, every one of you ascend. Every one of you go to the realm of the Spirit. Iisa lang tayo. Ngayon, also every one of you right now, tinuturo ko po sa inyo yung darating. Pero ngayon, I would like to tell you that you have to be sure, every one of you, dapat lahat kayo, sigurado kayo that you carry the Spirit of God. Amen? Hindi po pwedeng pasimba-simba lang. Hindi kayo kayo lahat kayang lagyan ng power ng simbahan. Ang maglalagay sa inyo ang power ng Espiritu ng Diyos na nakokonek sa Espiritu ng ating Ama sa Langit. Nakakonek ba ang Espiritu nyo? The first thing that you have to do before you move in the power of God is to be sure na Espiritu nga ng Diyos ang nandyan sa inyo. Amen? Hindi nyo pwedeng dayain, hindi nyo pwedeng lukohin. I will know God knows who is with Him, who is His and who is hers. Sabi nga, meron talagang remnant sa loob ng simbahan. Ano yung remnant? Yung totoo, yung na kumikilo sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos, na kung mamuhay, parang totoong makikita ninyo the manifestation of the Spirit of God. Amen? So every one of you right now, I would like you to close your eyes. Nobody moving around. I don't want anybody going to the restroom. I don't want to be going. Kahit ako nandi dito, I can teleport there in front of you. Amen? So every one of you were connected right now. I want you to be, except for the musician. Musician, I don't want you to be singing songs. I just want you to be uh, uh, playing an uh, uh, instrument instrumental. Amen? Praise God. So, every one of you right now, Lebrio na makaya. Kaya nga, 
na babag binaptize tayo ng Holy Spirit, binigyan tayo ng prayer language. Kaya pag naririnig nyo si Pastor May or yung katabi ninyo na nag i speak in tongue, that's one of the benefit of being connected to the Spirit of God. We can communicate to our Father through the Spirit, through the tongues of God, through the tongues of angels. Amen? Kaya pa na, ano ba yung sinasabi nila? Rama na malan. No, 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 no. That's the tongues of God. Alam nyo ba na pag nasa langit ka, hindi ka doon nagtatagalog? You speak the language of heaven. Meron silang language sa langit na hindi katunog na hindi ka pareho ng language natin sa lupa. Ang ginagamit natin dito Tagalog, English, Pranses, kung saan tayo nakatira. But in heaven, they are they communicate in different language and that is the language of the Spirit of God. That is the language of the Holy Spirit. Then God opened us up when he baptized us with the Holy Spirit and we began to speak in new tongues. Amen. Pakaya pag bagong born again ka sa sa benefit mo ang mag-receive ng tongues from heaven. Amen. Praise God. Thank you Lord. So right now close your eyes every one of you close your eyes. And I don't want anybody looking around, nobody thinking about anything but God. Gusto kong isipin niyo ang Diyos na makapangyarihan, ang Diyos na puno ng kabanalan. A holy God, a powerful God. He's watching us right now. He's watching you. Na aabut kanya. Alam niya ang iniisip mo. Alam niya ang ginagawa mo. Alam niya kung ano ka in the inside because he put his spirit in the inside of you. But what kind of spirit lives in you? Is that the spirit of God, or it's your spirit, the human spirit? That is not born in the Spirit of God. That's why lahat ng tao kailangan maborn again sa Spirit niya para makapag-communicate ang Spirit natin. And we will know that we are a child of God. And anytime we can come contact with Him, we can call Him Abba Father. Amen. So every one of you, look at the Father. In the Spirit, alam niyo po walang mukha ang Father. So light, 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 bright light, 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 light. Maliwanag na maliwanag. Nobody can see God. Even Moses was not able to see God. And yet he's a friend of God. Say, Father, sipin mo ang ating Diyos. Father, I come to you. I thank you. That you are a father of light. Napakaliwanag mo ang mga. At sa oras na ito, I bow myself before you. Forgive me. Patawarin mo ako sa lahat ng maling inisip ko sa aking nakaraan, sa aking buhay sa aking kasalanan. Forgive me. No one, no one can come to you except by your son, Jesus. Jesus, salamat na matay ka para sa akin. You cleanse my heart and you cleanse my mind. And you cleanse my past with your holy blood. Thank you. I receive your forgiveness. Tinatanggap ko ang kapatawaran mo sa lahat ng kasalanan at pagkakamali na nagawa ko. And right now, I acknowledge you. And I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. Tinatanggap kita bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas ng buhay ko. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Salamat at nilagay mo na ang aking pangalan sa aklat ng buhay. And whenever you come, you will take me with you. And even right now, my spirit is connected to you because I am now born again in the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. I am a new creature. I am fresh 
And I'm a child of God. And I can call you Abba Father. Amen. Palakpakan mo natin ang bawat isa. So that's the first step in order for you to communicate with God. And now you know that the God we serve is a powerful God. And you know that we carry the power of God. Once you got born again, His Spirit comes to you. His Spirit dwells in you. His Spirit lives in you. Amen. Praise God. So right now, all of you, ah, Nandyan po ang Spirit ng Lord. I want you to pray right now. I'm gonna release a, a powerful prayer, a declaration, but every one of you needs to pray for one another. Come on, get a partner. Allow the Spirit of God to pray for the person in front of you or next to you. Just put your hand on the shoulder. Kung ano man ang pangangailangan niyan, Kung ano man ang limitasyon niyan, I want you to believe that the Spirit of God that lives in you will heal that person, will minister to that person, will bring deliverance to that person. Amen? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. By the way, dun sa mga tumanggap sa Diyos, okay, later, later, do you believe that the Spirit of God lives inside of you? Do you believe that that spirit, same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you? So you receive the revelation that you're powerful. Amen? Are we ready right now? Every one of you pray for one another. I will pray. Then release an importation to every one of you and pray. Amen? Amen? Lemenia labriona ya satararia kirabo sotalabria ni akaya rebenia satalalabria kaya raba revela mahasan la labakaya we are connecting our spirit with the spirit of god right now with the spirit of elohim lebria kaya with the spirit of jehovah with the spirit of yeshua rama seteli abakaya rebenia sana nabol maria and lora basatararia we really so God, the power of God to cast out demons and heal the sick in the name of Jesus. Right now, we impart to them the spirit of life. We command all sickness to go. We command all diseases to go. We command alignment in their bodies, their bones, muscles, tissues in the name of Jesus. Right now, all demons of sickness, demons of every chronic disease, every disease every sickness in the name of Jesus in their body right now God I rebuke it in Jesus name I command it to live their bodies right now live their blood live their mind live their body live their emotions live every their stomach even in their back in Jesus name go Rabo Sokoma and we release partition and communication communication and the fellowship of the spirit of healing of the father in Jesus name right now heal those people touch them in the name of Jesus touch the person next to me touch everybody God, God is healing a lot of people right now some of you are receiving healing in your stomach some of you are receiving healing in your back some of you are receiving healing in your in your in your muscles in your tissues some of you are receiving healing healing in your foot. Some of you are receiving healing in your mind. A lot of healings right now from left to right. There's a current of fire and electricity in your midst right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you there's like um, naninikip yung dibdib nyo. God is losing that in the name of Jesus because the Lord said whatever we bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We lose the healing power of God left and right in the name of Jesus. The blood flows in their means right now in Jesus name you're feeling a heat all over your body right now you're feeling heat inside of you right now God is moving 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 you become a host of the power of God release it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus okay some of you you need to walk you need to check it uh, na pinagaling na kayo ng Lord, move your hands back and forth, move your body back and forth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Hala Ramos, so Kolalaraya. I want you to um, testify what God is doing in your life right now. Let the joy of the Lord come back to you. Let the peace of God reign in your mind right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Palakpakan po natin ng Lord. God is moving. God is doing something. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of healing in the stomach. Uh, you, you feel a, a warm sensation in your stomach right now. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So ilagay niyo po yung testimony niyo. You can testify in front. You can write it down kung ayaw niyo. Those of you watching online, if the Lord touches you and heals you, I want you to write it down. Give us your testimony and send it to our um uh, uh, the number of the screen, the, the, the email, the whatever na ilagay nila, Facebook or something live in the uh, praise God. And next week, amen. I want to see you live on Friday in House of Power. I will be there personally and we're gonna mm, clear and and uh, um, bring uh, revival to everyone in the name of Jesus. And on Sunday, we're gonna release the, the first lesson how to walk on the power of a supernatural God. Amen. So I would like to see everyone on your Sunday. I would like you to invite families, friends together. We'll see God move in a powerful way. We declare that the start of our fasting and praying will be on Monday. This Monday. Ano bang araw ang this Monday? Sa, uh, July 8, 9, 10. We're gonna start our fasting and prayer July 10 and end for um until uh we 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 go to CDO so we have conference this coming kailan ba yun na uh, I, I i'm not sure kung 20 to 21 so i would like you to go in contact with um my staff pastor alpha uh pas uh, uh uh iris omelets and everything Okay, so come to them, write your name, register your name. Amen. I will be speaking in the conference live. Itong round natin ng spirit ay maiintindihan yung lalo dyan. We're gonna go in depth. Foundations pa lang po ang binibigay ko sa inyo. Foundations pa lang. But we're gonna go deeper in the conference. And also, um, we have a coming conference in CDO. Amen. That's going to be a powerful conference. The supernatural power of God will move in CDO. I believe um, some pastors connect with me. They're also coming. So together, hallelujah, praise God. So on, okay, so praise God, amen. So we need to pray, we need to fast for everything para po tuloy-tuloy ang revival, tuloy-tuloy ang move of God without prayer, without connecting with the Spirit of God. Nothing can happen. So right now, I'm excited. I want you to bring people. I want you to bring all the intercessors, the warriors. Amen. I need all the intercessors, the warriors. What are the intercessors and warriors? People that love to pray. People that love to stay in the realm. People that want to talk to the Lord and see signs, wonders, and miracles and all of that. So also, um, Sunday next week. So, kailan ba yung Sunday next? Okay. I want to see every one of you live, fresh, excited for the move of God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And CBO. We'll have Pastor John um, coming to Philippines on September. Amen. So abangan po ninyo. Marami pong mangyayari sa mga darating ng araw. It's revival time. Supernatural move of God. Power of God. Heating and a coming to the Philippines. Amen. I love every one of you. I will turn over this to the host of um, the one who's gonna Get the offering. Whoa, everybody get excited for the supernatural. If you want supernatural, anybody who wants supernatural blessings, raise your hands. Supernatural mm, millions. Huh? Hallelujah. You need to have 
a supernatural giving. You need to plant. Kasi pag nagtanim ka, dun ka mag-harvest. You need to believe God supernaturally for the God who knows how to bless us, empower us with the riches of heaven. Amen. So God bless everyone. See you on Friday and Sunday. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, only those who are excited to be in prayer should come on Friday House of Power. Yung hindi gusto magpray, manonood lang, don't stay there because it's gonna be so powerful that there's fire that will come on the House of Prayer. Amen. I love everyone. You're blessed. A gathering for all the saints where the Holy Spirit moves in a supernatural way as we pray together come and join us every Friday at 6pm House of Power here at Shallow International Revival Church